descending into the depths of our list at number 10 giant isopods, straight out of a sci-fi flick, are the deep sea's answer to terrestrial pill bugs, but on steroids. These armored giants are the epitome of deep sea gigantism, a phenomenon where creatures in the abyssal depths grow to monstrous sizes, likely as an adaptation to the scarce food resources and high pressure of their environment. Biologically, they're a goldmine for understanding extremophile life forms. Their ability to endure prolonged periods of starvation, we're talking years here, and withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean makes them a subject of fascination for biologists and physiologists alike. They're not just scavengers, they're survivors, enduring where most life forms would crumble. But there's more to these creatures than their survival skills. Their morphology, reminiscent of ancient arthropods, provides a living window into the past, offering insights into the evolutionary history of crustaceans. Their segmented bodies, compound eyes and jointed limbs are a throwback to a prehistoric era, making them a subject of interest not just for marine biologists, but also for paleontologists. The way they've adapted their feeding habits Scavenging on the deep sea floor plays a crucial role in the ocean's nutrient cycle, essentially making them the cleanup crew of the deep sea. Diving into the social and cultural impact, giant isopods have become icons of the deep sea, sparking both fascination and horror. Their alien-like appearance has inspired art, movies, and even internet memes, becoming symbols of the mysterious and often unexplored ocean depths. Their discovery and subsequent study challenge our understanding of life's resilience and adaptability, pushing the boundaries of what we consider possible in Earth's extreme environments. They're not just creatures, they're envoys from the deep, reminding us of the vast, uncharted territories that lie beneath the waves. Coming in at number nine, the humble lemmings, small, furry embodiments of the Arctic's harshness, are far more than the misunderstood subjects of mass suicide myths. These rodents are a keystone species in the tundra ecosystem, their population dynamics intricately linked to the health of their environment. Their boom and bust population cycles, where numbers explode before crashing down, are a phenomenon that has puzzled ecologists for decades. These cycles are crucial for their predators, like snowy owls and arctic foxes, influencing breeding and migration patterns. Lemmings are not just part of the food chain, they're a barometer for the Arctic's ecological health. But there's a deeper layer to these creatures. Adapted to one of the most extreme environments on Earth, lemmings have evolved physiological and behavioral traits that are a testament to nature's adaptability. Their dense fur, compact bodies, and prolific breeding are all finely tuned to the challenges of surviving in the tundra. They're a living study in resilience, showcasing how life can thrive under conditions that would be lethal to most other species. Their burrowing habits, creating extensive tunnel networks under the snow, play a significant role in soil aeration and nutrient cycling, further underlining their ecological importance. Lemmings also hold a unique place in human culture and science. They've been the subject of numerous studies, documentaries, and even a notorious Disney film that propagated the mass suicide myth. In scientific circles, they're a model organism for studying population ecology and wildlife biology. Their impact extends beyond the tundra. They're a symbol of nature's unyielding will to survive and adapt, a reminder of the delicate balance that governs all ecosystems. In the narrative of climate change and environmental conservation, lemmings are a critical character, their fate intertwined with the health of the Arctic. At number eight, the red-lipped batfish is a creature that seems to defy the conventions of evolution with its strikingly bizarre appearance and behavior. Found in the depths around the Galapagos Islands, these fish are a spectacle of nature's creativity their bright red lips, which stand out against their otherwise muted bodies, are thought to aid in species recognition during mating. But it's their mode of locomotion that sets them apart. Evolution, in a quirky twist, has rendered them poor swimmers. Instead, they walk on the ocean floor using their modified pectoral fins, a unique adaptation among fish. These creatures are not just a curiosity, they're a living lesson 
in evolutionary adaptation. The red-lipped batfish's morphology, including its specialized lure used for attracting prey, is a prime example of how species evolve unique traits to survive in specific niches. Their diet, consisting of small fish, mollusks, and crustaceans, coupled with their anglerfish-like hunting strategy, makes them a fascinating subject for studying predator-prey dynamics in the deep sea. Their existence challenges our understanding of fish evolution, showcasing the diverse paths life can take in adapting to the environment. In the broader context, the red-lipped batfish is a symbol of the Galapagos' rich biodiversity and the wonders of the marine world. Their unique appearance and behavior have made them a subject of interest not just for marine biologists, but also for the general public, sparking curiosity and interest in marine life and conservation. They stand as a testament to the importance of preserving marine ecosystems, particularly unique habitats like the Galapagos, which are hotbeds of evolutionary innovation. In a world where marine environments face increasing threats, the red-lipped batfish is a reminder of the hidden marvels that lie beneath the waves, waiting to be understood and protected. Swimming into number seven, the Paku, often dubbed as the vegetarian cousins of piranhas, are a fascinating paradox in the piscine world. Native to the Amazon basin, these fish challenge the ferocious image of their relatives with their predominantly herbivorous diet, munching on seeds and nuts with their human-like teeth. This dental mimicry isn't just a quirky trait, it's a remarkable example of evolutionary adaptation, allowing pacus to exploit a dietary niche distinct from their carnivorous counterparts. Their size, with some species growing up to 3.5 feet, adds to their intrigue, making them a dominant presence in their freshwater habitats. But the story of the Paku isn't just about their biological traits. In the realm of human interaction and environmental impact, they present a complex narrative. Their popularity in the aquarium trade, juxtaposed with the challenges of their size and dietary needs, raises critical questions about ecological responsibility and the consequences of introducing Introducing non native species into new environments. The Pecos's role in local fisheries and as a food source in South America underscores the intricate socio economic and ecological tapestries they're woven into. They're a living example of the delicate balance between human needs, wildlife conservation, and ecosystem health. In the broader scientific and cultural discourse, pecos have become a symbol of the unexpected and often overlooked complexities of nature. They challenge our perceptions, urging us to look beyond stereotypes and delve deeper into understanding the nuanced relationships within ecosystems. Their presence in discussions across platforms like Reddit and 4chan reflects a growing public interest in biodiversity and the need for a more informed and nuanced approach to wildlife conservation. In the narrative of environmental awareness, pecos are more than just fish. They're a reminder of the intricate web of life that sustains our planet. Fluttering into the sixth spot, the hummingbird hawk moth, a masterful mimic and a marvel of the insect world, blurs the line between bird and bug in a stunning display of evolutionary convergence. Convergence. These moths, with their rapid wing beats and bird-like hovering, are a testament to nature's ability to find similar solutions to ecological challenges across vastly different species. Their resemblance to hummingbirds isn't just skin deep, it extends to their feeding behavior, using a long proboscis to sip nectar from flowers, and even to their migratory patterns, traversing long distances much like their avian doppelgangers. But there's more to these moths than their mimicry. They're a living study in aerodynamics and energy efficiency, their wing structure and flight mechanics offering valuable insights into the physics of flight. Their day-active lifestyle, a rarity among moths, opens up a unique niche, allowing them to exploit daytime flowering plants. This behavior also has implications for their role in pollination, a critical ecological service typically associated with diurnal insects like bees and butterflies. The hummingbird, hawk moth's ability to learn and remember the locations of flowers, demonstrating a level of cognitive complexity not often attributed to insects, further adds to their intrigue. In the digital realms of 4chan and Reddit, the hummingbird hawk moth becomes a symbol of nature's ingenuity and the wonders of evolution. Discussions about these moths 
often delve into topics of biomimicry, conservation, and the broader implications of their study for understanding biodiversity and ecological interdependence. They're not just a curiosity for entomologists, they're a gateway for laypersons into the intricate world of insect ecology and the broader themes of adaptation and survival. In a world facing ecological challenges, the hummingbird hawk moth stands as a reminder of the resilience and adaptability of life. At number five, the scorpion flies, with their namesake scorpion-like tails, which are in fact harmless, are a fascinating foray into the world of arachnid mimicry and insect oddities. These insects, found in a variety of habitats from lush gardens to dense woodlands, are a prime example of nature's flair for the dramatic. Their elongated faces and beak-like mouths, specialized for feeding on dead and decaying matter, position them as key players in the decomposition process, an often overlooked but crucial ecological service. But the intrigue of scorpion flies extends beyond their ecological role. Their reproductive behavior is a subject of fascination, with males engaging in complex courtship rituals, often involving the presentation of nuptial gifts to females, a behavior that provides a rich field for studying sexual selection and mating strategies. This aspect of their biology is not just a curiosity, it offers insights into the evolutionary pressures that shape mating behaviors and the allocation of resources in the insect world. On platforms like Reddit and 4chan, scorpion flies spark discussions that bridge biology, evolution, and even gender dynamics. Their unique mating rituals, often seen as a parallel to human dating practices, become a springboard for broader conversations about nature, evolution, and behavior. In the scientific community, they're a model organism for understanding the complexities of sexual selection and reproductive strategies. For the layperson, they're an entry point into the often bizarre and misunderstood world of insects, challenging preconceived notions and opening up a world of scientific wonder and exploration. Claiming the fourth spot, warty frogfish, the chameleons of the sea, are a masterclass in marine mimicry and predatory deception. These ambush predators, found lurking in the tropical and subtropical waters, are a bizarre blend of grotesque and mesmerizing. Their ability to camouflage, mimicking the color and texture of their surroundings, isn't just a passive defense mechanism, it's an active predatory strategy. They lie in wait, perfectly blended with the coral or rocky substrates, and use a specialized lure on their head, known as an esker, to attract unsuspecting prey. This predatory tactic is a brutal yet fascinating example of evolutionary adaptation for survival. But there's more to these frogfish than their hunting prowess. Their morphology, characterized by wart-like protrusions and an almost comical gait as they walk on their pectoral fins, is a subject of intrigue in evolutionary biology. They challenge our understanding of fish locomotion and adaptation, showcasing the diverse paths that evolution can take in response to environmental pressures. Their role in the coral reef ecosystem is multifaceted, acting as both predator and prey, a balance that is crucial for the health of these fragile habitats. In the digital discourse of forums like Reddit and 4chan, warty frogfish often become a symbol of nature's weirdness and the incredible diversity of marine life. Discussions about them delve into topics of evolutionary biology, marine ecology, and the importance of preserving coral reef ecosystems. They're not just a subject of scientific study, they're a reminder of the intricate and often bizarre tapestries of life beneath the waves, sparking curiosity and wonder in the minds of both scientists and enthusiasts alike. At number three, giant clams. The gentle giants of the marine world are a testament to the wonders of symbiotic relationships and ecological engineering. These bivalves, some of the largest on the planet, are not just passive inhabitants of the reef. They're active participants in the reef's ecology. Embedded within their colorful mantles are symbiotic algae, zooxanthellae, which, through photosynthesis, provide nutrients to the clam. This symbiosis is a delicate dance of give and take, a fine-tuned ecological partnership that sustains both organisms. But the role of giant clams extends beyond their symbiotic relationships. They're also key players in calcium carbonate deposition, contributing to the structural integrity of coral reefs. 
The physiology of giant clams is a marvel in itself. Their ability to grow to such massive sizes, some species reaching over four feet in length and weighing hundreds of pounds, is a subject of fascination in marine biology. Their growth rates, shell structure, and the intricacies of their symbiotic relationships offer valuable insights into the study of mollusks and reef ecosystems. Moreover, their vibrant colors, a result of the symbiotic algae and pigments in their tissues, make them a visually striking component of the reef, attracting divers and marine enthusiasts from around the world. On online platforms, giant clams often spark discussions that go beyond biology, delving into issues of conservation, marine resource management, and the impacts of climate change on coral reefs. They're a symbol of the fragility and resilience of marine ecosystems, a living reminder of the interconnectedness of life in the ocean. In a world where coral reefs face unprecedented threats, giant clams stand as a beacon of the beauty and complexity of these ecosystems, urging us to understand and protect the delicate balance of life beneath the sea. Gliding into the second spot, the fried egg jellyfish, with its whimsical appearance, is more than just a quirky inhabitant of the sea. It's a fascinating subject in the study of marine biology and ecology. Resembling a fried egg with its yellowish yolk-like bell and frilly white margins, this jellyfish is a visual treat and a biological enigma. Found in the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, these cnidarians are a study in the elegance and simplicity of marine life. Their bell, pulsating gently, propels them through the water, while their stinging tentacles, mild to humans, are a formidable weapon in capturing prey. But the intrigue of the fried egg jellyfish extends beyond its appearance. Jellyfish like these play a crucial role in marine ecosystems, both as predators and prey. Their diet, consisting of small fish and zooplankton, positions them as important players in the oceanic food web. Additionally, their life cycle, which includes both a medusa, free swimming stage, and a polyp, sessile stage, offers insights into the complex life histories of cnidarians. Their population dynamics, often influenced by changes in ocean temperature and chemistry, can serve as indicators of the health of marine ecosystems. In online discussions, the fried egg jellyfish often becomes a focal point for conversations about the beauty and mystery of the ocean. It sparks curiosity and wonder, leading to discussions that encompass marine biology, ecology, and the broader implications of studying these enigmatic creatures. They're not just a subject of scientific interest, they're a gateway to understanding the complexities of life in the ocean and the importance of preserving its diversity and health. In a world increasingly disconnected from nature, the fried egg jellyfish serves as a reminder of the wonders that lie beneath the waves, waiting to be discovered and appreciated. And at the pinnacle of our list, at number one, vinegaroons or whip scorpions are like the dark horses of the arachnid world, often overshadowed by their more notorious cousins, but equally deserving of awe and respect. These creatures dwelling in the subtropical shadows are a marvel of evolutionary adaptation. Their most famous feature, the ability to spray a vinegar-like substance as a defense mechanism, is a fascinating example of chemical warfare in the animal kingdom. This acidic spray, primarily composed of acetic acid, is their non-lethal way of saying, back off, to potential predators. It's a unique adaptation among arachnids and a testament to the diverse survival strategies evolved by creatures in the face of predation. But the intrigue of vinegaroons doesn't stop at their chemical defenses. Their sensory adaptations are equally remarkable. The long, whip-like tail, contrary to its intimidating appearance, is actually an organ of sensation, not a weapon. It's used to navigate their nocturnal world, a sensory antenna that guides them to prey and away from danger. This adaptation highlights the incredible ways in which life forms have evolved to interact with their environment, particularly in the realm of sensory biology. 
Vinegaroons, with their alien-like appearance and unique behaviors, challenge our understanding of arachnids, showcasing the incredible diversity within this group. In the realms of online discussion, Vinegaroons often spark a mix of fascination and unease, embodying the mysterious and often misunderstood nature of many arachnids. They become a topic of discussion not just for their biological peculiarities, but also as a symbol of the unknown and unexplored aspects of the natural world. For the scientific community, they are a subject of interest in the study of arachnid evolution and ecology. For enthusiasts and the public, they serve as a reminder of the countless unique creatures that share our planet, many of which are yet to be fully understood. In a broader sense, vinegaroons represent the endless surprises nature has in store, encouraging both respect for and curiosity about the lesser-known inhabitants of our world. Starting our countdown at number 10 is the satanic leaf-tailed gecko endemic to Madagascar, is a master of disguise, perfectly mimicking a dead leaf to avoid detection. Its flat, leaf-like tail, combined with a mottled brown or tan body, allows it to blend seamlessly into the forest foliage, making it nearly invisible to predators and prey alike. This small gecko, measuring between 2.5 to 6 inches in length, utilizes its camouflage not only for protection, but also as a hunting strategy, remaining motionless until unsuspecting insects come within range. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko is a nocturnal and arboreal species, spending its days hidden hidden among the leaves and becoming active at night to feed. Its diet primarily consists of insects, which it catches with precision and agility. The reproductive behavior of these geckos involves the female laying clutches of two eggs, which are carefully hidden in leaf litter or under bark to protect them from predators. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko's unique appearance and ecological adaptations make it not only a fascinating subject for herpetologists, but also a symbol of Madagascar's rich and unique biodiversity. Its existence underscores the importance of conserving the island's rapidly diminishing rainforests, which are home to countless other endemic and endangered species. At number nine, meet the mysterious Potu, with their enigmatic presence, are a fascinating group of birds native to the forests and woodlands of Central and South America. Known for their cryptic plumage, they are experts in camouflage, resembling broken tree branches when perched motionlessly during the day. This adaptation provides them with a unique defense mechanism against predators, making them nearly invisible in their natural habitat. Potuza's large, forward-facing eyes facilitate their nocturnal lifestyle, allowing them to spot and catch insects even in low-light conditions. These solitary and elusive birds are known for their distinctive, eerie calls that resonate through the night forest, adding to their mystique. Their diet primarily consists of flying insects insects which they catch in mid-air. Potus's nesting habits are equally unique. They lay a single egg directly on a depression in a tree branch without constructing a traditional nest. This simplicity in nesting behavior further aids their camouflage strategy. The Potus' unique adaptations to their environment underscore the diversity and complexity of avian life, revealing the intricate ways in which species evolve to fit their ecological. Flying in at number eight is the Chrysopelea, or the flying snake is a remarkable species that challenges our traditional views of snakes. Found in the dense forests of Southeast Asia, these snakes have developed an extraordinary method of locomotion. By flattening their bodies and leaping from tree branches, they can glide through the air, covering distances of up to 100 meters. This ability not only aids them in moving between trees, but also serves as an effective means to escape predators and catch prey. Ranging from two to four feet in length, Chrysopelia species are mildly venomous, using their venom to subdue small bird and bat prey. However, they pose little threat to humans. Their diet mainly consists of lizards, bats, and small birds, making them an integral part of the forest ecosystem. Their unique gliding ability, combined with their striking appearance and ecological role, makes the flying snake a fascinating subject of study in the field of herpetology and biomechanics. Gliding into number seven is the Colugo, often mistakenly called the flying lemur, is a remarkable mammal that glides with grace through the rainforests of Southeast Asia. Despite their name, they are not lemurs and do not truly fly. 
Instead, they glide using a large skin membrane or patagium, which stretches from their neck to their fingertips, toes, and tail. This adaptation allows them to move between trees effortlessly, covering distances of over 200 feet in a single glide. The Kalugo's arboreal lifestyle is supported by its strong claws used for climbing and clinging to tree trunks. Kalugos are primarily herbivorous, feeding on soft plant parts like leaves, fruits, and flowers. They are nocturnal animals animals spending most of the day camouflaged against tree bark emerging at night to feed and glide. Measuring about 14 to 16 inches in body length with a long tail, the Kalugo's solitary nature and quiet demeanor make it a discreet yet fascinating inhabitant of the tropical rainforests. Its role in seed dispersal and forest ecology highlights the importance of preserving these habitats for the continued survival of species like the Kalugo. Making a deep dive into number six, the the colossal squid, Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni, holds the title of the largest invertebrate on Earth. This deep sea giant can reach lengths of up to 46 feet, with tentacles equipped with large, swiveling hooks. Its massive eyes, the size of dinner plates, are essential for detecting light and prey in the pitch black depths of the ocean. The colossal squid's mantle alone can measure up to 14 feet, making it a formidable predator of the deep. Inhabiting the cold, dark waters of the Southern Ocean, particularly around Antarctica, the colossal squid feeds on deep-sea fish and other squid species. Its elusive nature has made encounters with this species rare, with most knowledge coming from specimens recovered from the stomachs of sperm whales or found floating in the ocean. The colossal squid's size and mysterious lifestyle continue to captivate scientists and the public alike, symbolizing the vast, unexplored frontier of our planet's oceans. Burrowing its way to number five is the fearsome bobbit worm, an elusive and fearsome predator of the ocean floor can grow to an astonishing length of up to 10 feet. This polychaete worm is named after the notorious case of Lorena Bobbit, reflecting its ability to fiercely snap and cut its prey with its sharp jaws. The Bobbit worm buries itself in the sediment, leaving only its antennae exposed to sense passing prey such as fish and cephalopods. When prey is detected, it strikes with incredible speed and power, often severing its victim in half. The Bobbit worm's hunting technique and physical characteristics make it a subject of both fascination and fear. Its body is segmented, lined with sharp bristles that assist in burrowing and movement. The worm's ability to regenerate lost segments adds to its resilience. Little is known about the bobbit worm's reproductive habits as it remains a mysterious and elusive creature. At number four, the Dementor wasp is as intriguing as it is deadly named for its resemblance to the Dementors from the Harry Potter series is a creature of both beauty and intrigue. These wasps, found in tropical climates like Thailand, display a remarkable hunting strategy. They use their venom to paralyze cockroaches, not to kill, but to provide a living, immobile food source for their larvae. The venom specifically targets the cockroach's escape reflex, turning it into a docile host for the wasp's offspring. The Dementor wasp's behavior exemplifies the complexity of natural predator-prey relationships. The female wasp lays her eggs on or inside the paralyzed cockroach, which then serves as a nutrient-rich environment for the developing larvae. This process underscores the wasp's evolutionary adaptation for survival and reproduction. The Dementor wasp plays a vital role in controlling cockroach populations in its habitat, illustrating the balance of ecosystems and the importance of each species within it. Marching into number three, the thistledown velvet ant, a wingless wasp species, is distinguished by its striking appearance and formidable defense mechanism. The females, known for their vivid colors and velvety texture, lack wings, in contrast to their male counterparts. Ranging in size from 0.5 to 1 inch, they are renowned for their extremely painful sting, which has earned them the nickname cow killer. Although the sting is not typically lethal to humans, these ants prefer arid environments like deserts and grasslands, where they can often be seen scurrying along the ground. Their life cycle is as fascinating as their appearance. The larvae of thistledown velvet ants are parasitoids, feeding on the pupae of ground-nesting bees and wasps. Females search for host nests where they lay their eggs. Upon hatching, the larvae consume the host larvae or pupae, eventually emerging as adults. 
This unique reproductive strategy showcases the intricate interactions and dependencies within ecosystems, highlighting the complexity of parasitic relationships in nature. At number two, the vampire squid is a creature straight out of an oceanic fairy tale. The vampire squid, or Vampyrotuthis infernalis, is a testament to life's adaptability in the ocean's most inhospitable realms. Dwelling up to 3,000 feet beneath the surface, where light barely penetrates, this creature has evolved unique adaptations to survive in the oxygen-minimal waters. It possesses photophores, light-producing organs, along its body, which it uses for counter-illumination, a form of camouflage in the deep sea. Its dark, webbed arms can envelop its body, giving it the appearance of a vampire's cloak, a feature that adds to its otherworldly mystique. Contrary to its fearsome name, the vampire squid feeds on marine snow, consisting of dead organic material and fecal matter falling from the upper layers of the ocean. It employs a filamentous appendage to capture this detritus, making it an important recycler in the deep sea ecosystem. The vampire squid's ability to tolerate extreme conditions, including low oxygen and high pressure environments, and its slow metabolic rate make it a unique subject for studying evolutionary biology and the limits of marine life. And topping our countdown at number one is the extraordinary Siphonophore. More than just a single creature, it's a complex colony of individuals working in unison. The siphonophore, an intriguing denizen of the deep sea, presents a complex biological marvel. Unlike a single organism, it exists as a floating colony, composed of numerous genetically identical individuals known as zooids. Each zooid is specialized for a specific function, such as feeding, reproduction, or defense, working in unison for the colony's survival. Among the most famous siphonophores is the Portuguese man o' war, notorious for its long, venomous tentacles that can extend up to 50 feet, posing a significant threat to other marine life and even humans. Inhabiting various ocean depths, some siphonophores are found near the surface, while others dwell in the ocean's abyssal zones. Their movement, achieved by the coordinated pulsating of nectophores, is a mesmerizing dance in the deep blue. Bioluminescence is another remarkable feature feature of many siphonophores, providing them with an ethereal glow that illuminates the ocean's darkness. This characteristic not only aids in attracting prey, but also plays a role in communication and defense mechanisms within the diverse and enigmatic marine ecosystems they inhabit. Join us as we unravel the secrets of the incredible kingdom of arachnids, from the aquatic depths to the dense rainforests. Let's begin. At number 10, we dive into the underwater realm of the diving bell spider. An aquatic enigma weaves its life beneath the surface of fresh waters in Europe and Asia. This remarkable species has adapted to an entirely aquatic lifestyle, creating air-filled diving bells that enable it to breathe underwater. Measuring 10 to 15 millimeters in size, these spiders are a testament to nature's ability to fill every ecological niche, no matter how unexpected. Their unique adaptation allows them to feed on aquatic insects and small fish, playing a crucial role in their underwater habitat. The life of the diving bell spider is a delicate balance between air and water, capable of staying submerged for over 24 hours using their air bells. They showcase an unparalleled mastery of their environment. This adaptation is not just a survival mechanism, but a brilliant evolutionary strategy that has allowed them to exploit a niche largely inaccessible to other spiders. The diving bell. Spiders' existence challenges our understanding of arachnid life, presenting a unique intersection of air-breathing creatures and aquatic life. In the grand canvas of ecological diversity, the diving bell spider is a standout character. Its ability to thrive underwater, a realm typically hostile to spiders, highlights the remarkable adaptability of life. As a predator, in its aquatic ecosystem, it contributes to the balance of species and the health of its environment. The diving bell spider, with its unique lifestyle and adaptation, is a living example of nature's ingenuity, a reminder of the endless possibilities that exist in the natural world. Number nine brings us the face-sized tarantula 
from Sri Lanka, discovered in the lush forests of Sri Lanka, is a breathtaking example of nature's capacity for grandeur and mystery. With a leg span as large as a human face, this arboreal creature is a marvel of the spider kingdom. Its intricate patterns and size not only make it a subject of awe, but also highlight the incredible diversity found within the world of arachnids. This species, thriving in the treetops, navigates its world with agility and precision, a master of its leafy domain. The ecological role of the face-sized tarantula is as significant as its physical presence. As a predator, it plays a crucial role in controlling the populations of its prey, including insects and smaller animals, thus maintaining the balance within its ecosystem. Its arboreal nature allows it to explore and exploit a vertical world, showcasing the adaptability and versatility of spider species. The face-sized tarantula in its natural habitat is a living testament to the complexity and wonder of the natural world. In the broader narrative of biodiversity and ecological intricacy, the face-sized tarantula stands out as a symbol of nature's endless creativity. Its discovery adds a new chapter to our understanding of biological diversity, reminding us of the countless species that remain hidden in the world's forests. The face-sized tarantula, with its impressive size and striking appearance, captures the imagination and fuels our curiosity about the myriad forms of life that share our planet. At number eight is the Colombian giant red-leg tarantula. In the verdant depths of Colombia and Brazil's rainforests, the Colombian giant red-leg tarantula stands as a striking figure. With its vibrant red legs and robust body, this tarantula commands attention, embodying the vibrancy and diversity of its tropical habitat. Measuring up to seven inches in leg span, the Colombian giant red-legged tarantula is a powerful presence, its size and coloration a testament to the evolutionary richness of the arachnid world. As a nocturnal hunter, it emerges under the cloak of darkness, asserting its role as a key predator in the rainforest's complex food web. The life of this tarantula is a study in adaptability and survival. Its potent venom, a crucial tool for subduing prey, reflects its prowess as a hunter. The burrowing lifestyle of the Colombian giant red-legged tarantula allows it to navigate the rainforest floor with mastery, creating a safe haven for rest and ambush. With a lifespan extending up to 12 years, this species experiences a lengthy reign within its ecosystem, contributing significantly to the ecological balance. In the intricate tapestry of rainforest ecology, the Colombian giant red-legged tarantula is a central figure. Its role in controlling populations of insects and small vertebrates is vital, maintaining the delicate equilibrium of its environment. The tarantula's striking appearance, a fusion of beauty and intimidation, serves as a reminder of the rainforest's hidden wonders. The Colombian giant red-legged tarantula, with its vivid red legs and formidable presence, stands as a symbol of the wild, untamed spirit of the natural world. Number seven is the swift and agile Huntsman Spider. A master of speed and agility is a remarkable presence in warm climates across the globe. Known for its flat body and long legs, capable of spanning up to 15 centimeters, it excels in rapid movement and hunting prowess. Its ability to squeeze into tight spaces and navigate human habitats makes it a familiar yet awe-inspiring figure. The Huntsman plays a crucial role in its ecosystem, controlling insect populations and contributing to the natural Natural order. The huntsman's hunting style is a unique spectacle in the spider world. Eschewing webs, it relies on its speed and agility to capture prey, a testament to its evolutionary adaptation. With a lifespan of about two years, the huntsman's life cycle is a rapid journey of survival and reproduction, marked by the laying of hundreds of eggs and swift hunts that showcase its predatory efficiency. In the grand scheme of ecological dynamics, the huntsman spider is a vital player. Its role as a natural pest controller cannot be overstated as it helps maintain a balance in insect populations. The spider's interactions with humans, often marked by fear and misunderstanding, underscore the complex relationship between humans and the natural world. The huntsman spider, with its distinctive hunting technique and presence in 
diverse habitats is a symbol of nature's adaptability and resilience. Coming in at number six, we have the Colombian giant tarantula. In the heart of the Colombian rainforests, the Colombian giant tarantula asserts itself as a robust emblem of arachnid might. With a leg span ranging from six to eight inches, this species is a dominant figure in its habitat. Its calm yet powerful demeanor belies its size, making it a subject of intrigue and respect in the natural world, thriving in the humid, warm environment of the rainforest. The Colombian giant tarantula is an essential player in its ecological tapestry. The Colombian giant tarantula's physical attributes are a marvel of natural engineering. Its heavy, sturdy body is built for survival and predation. The spider's long lifespan in the wild is a journey of endurance an adaptation, a testament to its resilience. As a nocturnal hunter, it plays a crucial role in controlling insect and small vertebrate populations, maintaining the delicate balance of its ecosystem. In the grand narrative of rainforest ecology, the Colombian giant tarantula is a silent yet potent character. Its presence, while often unnoticed by the casual observer, is fundamental to the health and complexity of its environment. The species exemplifies the diversity and adaptability of life in the rainforest, a living reminder of the intricate web of life that sustains these vibrant ecosystems. At the halfway mark, number five is the Brazilian salmon pink bird eater. A vibrant tapestry of color in the spider world resides in the lush environments of northeastern Brazil. With a leg span reaching 10 inches, it ranks among the largest tarantulas, its salmon pink hairs a distinctive mark of beauty. Despite its size, this species is known for its relatively docile nature, challenging the common perception of large spiders as inherently aggressive. The Brazilian salmon pink bird eater's life cycle is a showcase of nature's reproductive prowess. Its ability to lay up to 2,000 eggs per egg sac speaks to the species' evolutionary success. The spider's diet, primarily consisting of insects, occasionally extends to small vertebrates, illustrating its opportunistic feeding habits. With a lifespan that can reach up to 15 years, this species is a long-leaved ruler of its domain. In the Brazilian rainforest, the salmon pink bird eater plays a critical ecological role. As a predator, it helps maintain the balance of insect populations, contributing to the overall health of its ecosystem. The species' size and striking appearance make it a symbol of the biodiversity and ecological complexity of the rainforest. The Brazilian salmon pink bird eater stands as a testament to the harmony of form and function in the natural world, a creature of both beauty and purpose. Number four takes us to the caves of Laos with the giant huntsman spider. Discovered in 2001, it boasts the largest leg span of any spider, extending up to a staggering 30 centimeters. This nomadic predator eschews web building in favor of active hunting, its long legs enabling rapid and agile movement. Its size and hunting prowess make it a remarkable figure in its subterranean realm. The giant huntsman's existence is a testament to nature's diversity. With a body size of up to 4.6 centimeters, it's a formidable presence. Yet its interactions with humans are minimal and typically non-confrontational. This species illustrates the diversity of hunting strategies among spiders, relying on speed and agility rather than webs. The giant huntsman's adaptations for cave life, including its size and speed, are a fascinating example of evolutionary specialization. The ecology of the giant huntsman spider is as intriguing as its size. In the shadowy world of caves, it plays a vital role in controlling the populations of insects and other small creatures. Its life cycle, while not fully understood, contributes to the delicate balance of its ecosystem. The giant huntsman spider, a creature of myths and legends, is a reminder of the unseen wonders that lie hidden in the natural world, a silent guardian of the underground. At number three, the funnel web spider stands as a marvel of the spider kingdom. A symbol of lethal elegance is an enigmatic figure in the world of arachnids. Native to Australia, particularly the Sydney region, this species is known for its potent venom, capable of causing serious harm to humans. Its menacing fangs, robust and capable of piercing through tough surfaces, are a signature trait, highlighting its status as a formidable predator. The funnel web constructs its namesake trap, a silk funnel leading into a burrow, 
a masterclass in predatory architecture, the life of the funnel-web spider is marked by a striking duality, a lethal hunter, yet a vital component of its ecosystem. Males, especially, become wanderers during the mating season, often leading to encounters with humans. With a life expectancy of up to eight years, these spiders are a fixture in their habitats, their presence a blend of fear and fascination. The size of these spiders, with bodies reaching up to 5 centimeters and leg spans of 15 centimeters, adds to their imposing persona. In the ecological theater, the funnel web spider plays a crucial role. Its predatory habits help regulate insect populations, maintaining a delicate ecological balance. The venom of the funnel web, while a source of danger, is also a subject of scientific interest, offering potential insights into medical and biological research. This spider, with its potent venom and unique web structure, is a living example of nature's complexity, a creature as intriguing as it is feared. Just missing the top spot, at number two, is the South American Goliath bird eater. A behemoth of the spider world commands awe with its sheer size and presence. This colossal arachnid, the largest by mass, boasts a leg span that can reach up to 30 centimeters and a weight exceeding 170 grams. Contrary to its name, the Goliath bird eater's diet consists mainly of insects with occasional ventures into small vertebrates, a testament to its opportunistic feeding habits. In the dense foliage of the rainforest, the Goliath bird eater is a silent yet dominant force. Its urticating hairs serve as a formidable defense, deterring predators with a cloud of irritants. This giant spider's reproductive process is as impressive as its size. Females can lay up to 200 eggs, ensuring the continuation of their lineage. With a lifespan ranging from 15 to 25 years, they are the long-lived monarchs of their domain. The Goliath bird eater's existence challenges the boundaries of arachnid evolution. Its massive body, and lengthy lifespan are extraordinary, demonstrating the remarkable adaptability and diversity within the spider family. In this giant of the rainforest, we see nature's ability to push the limits of size and longevity, creating a creature that seems more myth than reality, yet is a living testament to the wonders of the natural world. And at number one, the crown goes to the bat-eating spiders. In the shadowy tapestry of the night, bat-eating spiders emerge as the unsung orchestrators of the dark. This diverse group, spanning over 50 known species, has honed a rara predatory skill, capturing bats. These arachnids, with their webs-like deathly veils, can span several feet across, lying in ambush for their winged prey. The phenomenon of bat predation while rare, is a striking example of nature's unpredictability, showcasing these spiders as apex nocturnal hunters. The bat-eating spider's life cycle is a marvel of evolutionary adaptation. With leg spans that can exceed 15 centimeters, they embody the perfect blend of stealth and strength. Their long lifespan, often several years, allows them to dominate their nocturnal niche effectively. These spiders thrive in diverse habitats, from the sultry tropics to temperate zones, their presence a silent yet crucial aspect of the ecological balance. In the realm of ecological interactions, the bat-eating spider plays a pivotal role. The intricate balance between predator and prey is vividly displayed in their hunting strategy, a dance of patience and precision. As nocturnal predators, their impact on bat populations, though not fully quantified, hints at a complex interplay in the food web, one that challenges our understanding of ecological hierarchies and predator-prey dynamics. Our adventure begins in the mysterious depths of the ocean, where ancient marvels roam. At number 10, the ghost shark, or Chimaera, emerges as an ancient marvel, with its striking greenish-blue eyes and a slender body, this enigmatic creature navigates the abyssal plains and continental slopes, reaching depths as profound as 8,500 feet. A true relic of evolutionary history, ghost sharks belonging to the subclass Holocephaly diverged from other cartilaginous fish around 400 million years ago, with approximately 50 known species, each displaying unique features including venomous spines and elongated snouts these creatures face threats 
from deep sea fishing and habitat destruction, underscoring the importance of conservation efforts to preserve these living fossils. Ghost sharks have a relatively long lifespan, with some species living up to 30 years or more. Their slow growth contributes to their susceptibility to overfishing. At number nine, in the cold, dark depths of the abyssal plain, the sea pig gracefully roams, resembling a plump pig of the deep sea. This extraordinary deep sea cucumber, with its gelatinous barrel-shaped body and specialized tube feet, forms dense aggregations on the ocean floor, feeding on detritus that falls from the surface. Thriving at depths between 13,000 to 20,000 feet, the sea pig's abundance is intricately linked to the availability of organic material, showcasing the interconnected complexity of life in Earth's least explored environments. Sea pigs can be found in dense aggregations on the ocean floor. Their abundance is linked to the availability of organic material for feeding. Soaring into the arid landscapes of the Americas at number eight, the tarantula hawk emerges as a formidable winged hunter known for its size and powerful sting. With a wingspan that can reach up to four inches, these large wasps boast striking colors, featuring a vibrant combination of black and orange or blue. Their predatory behavior is both mesmerizing and fearsome. Tarantula hawks seek out tarantulas, delivering one of the most painful insect stings to paralyze their prey. Despite their imposing presence, these wasps play a crucial role in natural pest control, keeping tarantula populations in check and maintaining a delicate ecological balance. Tarantula hawks have a relatively short lifespan with adults living for several weeks. The larval stage, spent inside the paralyzed tarantula, lasts longer. Our countdown continues in the lush rainforests of Vietnam, where at number seven, the Vietnamese mossy frog, a master of camouflage, an arboreal adaptation with its mossy, lichen-like appearance, this small amphibian reaching sizes of 2 to 2.5 inches seamlessly blends into the forest vegetation. Equipped with adhesive toe pads for climbing, these nocturnal creatures navigate the trees with agility, feasting on small invertebrates. Despite their diminutive size, Vietnamese mossy frogs have made a significant impact beyond their native habitat, captivating enthusiasts in the pet trade. Their unique features and successful captive breeding efforts underscore the delicate balance between appreciation and conservation. They are adapted to an arboreal lifestyle. At number six, we venture into the deciduous forests of North America to encounter the hickory horned devil, one of the largest and most visually striking caterpillars. With a length that can reach up to six inches, this larval wonder boasts long spines and vibrant shades of green and blue, defying its harmless nature. Found in areas where hickory and walnut trees flourish, the hickory horned devil gracefully feeds on leaves during its daytime forays. Despite its fearsome appearance, this caterpillar relies on camouflage rather than aggression for defense, showcasing the intricate dance between adaptation and survival in the natural world. The hickory horned devil is one of the largest caterpillars in North America. It can reach lengths of up to six inches. Scaling the rugged terrains of Central Asia, at number five is the majestic markhor. These wild goats, with their corkscrew-shaped horns and powerful build, inhabit steep and challenging terrains. Adult males, weighing between 110 to 240 klala, engage in epic horn clashes during the mating season, establishing dominance and leading their social groups. Markhors, well adapted to foraging in mountainous landscapes, graze on grasses, leaves and vegetation. Despite their captivating presence, these remarkable creatures face threats from habitat loss and poaching prompting conservation efforts to safeguard their populations and preserve the essence of Central Asia's untamed beauty. Markhors are medium to large-sized wild goats. Adult males can weigh between 110 to 240 kilos, 240 
to 530 LEBs, while females uh, are smaller. Plunging into the abyssal depths at number four, behold the Dumbo octopus, gracefully drifting with ear-like fins and an otherworldly appearance. Little is known about these deep-sea dwellers, adding an air of mystery to their elusive existence. Named after the iconic Disney character, these cephalopods possess ear-like fins and a distinctive umbrella-shaped body. Ranging in size, some species reach lengths of five feet, while others are more petite. Adapted to the extreme conditions of the deep sea, Dumbo octopuses use large, sensitive eyes to navigate the darkness and hover above the ocean floor with their unique fins. Little is known about their reproductive habits, adding an air of mystery to these elusive deep sea dwellers, underscoring the vast expanses of the ocean yet to be explored. Dumbo octopuses have a unique appearance with ear-like fins and an umbrella-shaped body. At number three, in the depths of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, the humpback anglerfish reigns as a master of deception and predation. With its bioluminescent lure dangling in the darkness, this fish lures unsuspecting prey close before capturing them with a swift strike. Despite their relatively small size, her reaching lengths of about six inches, humpback anglerfish exhibit adaptations that allow them to survive in the extreme pressure and cold temperatures of the deep sea. Their solitary and elusive nature, combined with extreme sexual dimorphism, makes them intriguing denizens of the abyss, highlighting the marvels of adaptation in the world's least explored ecosystems. Humpback anglerfish are known for their bioluminescent lure, which dangles in front of their mouth to attract prey. The lure emits light in the darkness of the deep sea environment. Gleading into our number two spot is the ribbon sea dragon, a marine wonder blending grace and camouflage in the coastal waters of Australia. In the coastal waters of Australia, the ribboned sea dragon glides through seagrass beds and rocky reefs, showcasing a mesmerizing blend of grace and camouflage. With their intricate, a ribbon-like appearance and leaf-like appendages, these sea dragons exemplify the art of blending seamlessly into their surroundings. Reaching lengths of 9 to 10 inches, these creatures, related to seahorses, exhibit a unique reproductive strategy where males carry developing eggs. Despite their gentle nature, ribbon sea dragons face threats from habitat degradation and the aquarium trade, emphasizing the delicate balance needed to protect these coastal wonders. Ribbon sea dragons are moraine fish, closely related to seahorses and sea dragons. Finally, we delve into the rich tapestry of Madagascar's rainforests for our number one contender. The giraffe weevil, with its elongated neck and vibrant coloration, it personifies the creativity of nature within this unique ecosystem. Amidst the tropical forests of Madagascar, the giraffe weevil stands as a testament to nature's creativity and evolutionary ingenuity. This small insect navigates the trees with grace and purpose. And despite its small size, the giraffe weevil possesses remarkable strength in its leg muscles, utilizing the elongated neck for both nest building and engaging in competitive battles for mates. Found in the rich tapestry of Madagascar's ecosystem, the giraffe weevil, with its vivid black body and orange-reddish legs, captures the essence of biodiversity and the interconnected dance of life within the island's vibrant rainforests. Giraffe weevils have an elongated neck that is used for nest building and competitive battles for mates. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the armadillo girdled lizard, a miniature dragon from the deserts of South Africa. 
thriving in a living fortress. Its scaly armor and curled-up defensive posture earn it the moniker of Desert's Little Knights. These lizards, measuring a mere 7 to 10 centimeters, showcase a unique defense mechanism where they roll into a ball, gripping their tails in their mouths, much like nature's rolling stones. Their diet primarily consists of small insects, particularly ants, which they forage within their limited habitat of less than 20,000 square kilometers. These lizards, often likened to rock mimics for their ability to blend into their surroundings, have a lifespan that reaches up to 10 years. However, their existence is marred by challenges. As vulnerable species, they face threats from habitat loss and the pet trade making their survival in the wild a growing concern for conservationists. Their viviparous nature, giving birth to one or two live young, adds to their unique biological profile in the reptilian world. Swimming in at number nine, the blue parrotfish, the vibrant guardian of coral reefs. In the crystal clear waters of the Western Atlantic, from Maryland to Brazil, dwells the blue parrotfish, an aquatic marvel that plays a pivotal role in the health of coral reefs. Known as the ocean's blue jewel, these vibrant Vibrant creatures with their beak-like mouths are like coral reefs dentists, diligently scraping off algae and maintaining the delicate balance of the marine ecosystem. Their sequential hermaphroditic nature adds a layer of intrigue as they transform from female to male, embodying the spirit of sea chameleons. With a size ranging from 30 to 75 centimeter, these marine munchers spend a significant portion of their time grazing on algae and small invertebrates, contributing to the well-being of the underwater world they inhabit. Their life, spanning up to seven years, is a testament to nature's aqua artist's role in shaping coral landscapes. Often found in small groups, these creatures underscore the importance of biodiversity and the need to protect our ocean's health. At number eight, the bird of paradise, nature's own ballet dancer. Deep within the lush rainforests of New Guinea, the bird of paradise flutters as a vibrant tapestry of over 40 species, each an avian rainbow with strikingly diverse plumage. These birds are akin to rainforest's royalty, with males performing ornate and elaborate mating dances, akin to nature's dancers to attract their mates. Their size varies dramatically, ranging from a diminutive 15 centimeters to an impressive 110 centimeters, each species boasting its unique coloration and display. These feathered seducers primarily feast on fruits and insects, playing a crucial role in their ecosystem. However, many species of these ornithological opera stars face threats due to habitat loss. Their continued existence, with some living in tropical forests and others in challenging environments, highlights the urgent need for conservation efforts. The bird of paradise, with its enthralling courtship rituals and essential role in seed dispersal, remains a symbol of the rich biodiversity that our planet harbors. Crawling into number seven, the Amazon giant fishing spider. The Amazon giant fishing spider is an impressive inhabitant of the Amazon basin, an amphibious arachnid warrior adept in both terrestrial and aquatic realms. With a formidable leg span of up to 20 stubimatum, these spiders are nature's eight-legged fishermen capable of walking on water and diving to catch small fish and aquatic invertebrates. The females, significantly larger than their male counterparts, exhibit strong maternal instincts fiercely guarding their egg sacs. Known as the water-walking web weavers, these spiders live approximately two years, showcasing a fascinating adaptation to their environment. Their ability to skitter across water surfaces and submerge underwater has earned them the title of insect world's divers. Inhabiting the tropical regions of South America, they play a unique role in the intricate web of life that thrives in the lush, biodiverse Amazon rainforest. Hopping into number six, the Indian Purple Frog. Buried in the Western Ghats of India, the Indian Purple Frog emerges as a subterranean purple mystery. This elusive amphibian, discovered only in 2003, leads a secretive life underground, surfacing just for a few days each year to breed. Its distinct purple hui and bloated body shape, coupled with a clucking call akin to a chicken, make it an amphibian enigma. Feeding primarily on termites, this 7 centimeter long creature represents one of nature's hidden marvels. The Indian purple frog 
frog's rarity and specialized lifestyle marked by its emergence during the monsoons underscore the importance of conserving such unique species. Their presence is a testament to the unexplored biodiversity of the western ghats and the need to protect these habitats from encroachment and degradation. As a symbol of nature's burrowing balloons, the Indian purple frog captures the essence of evolutionary wonder and ecological significance. And number five, the boxer crab. In the vibrant coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific, the boxer crab, also known as the pom-pom crab, stands out as a unique spectacle. These tiny ringmasters of the reef wield anemones in their claws, resembling underwater cheerleaders with their pom-pom-like appendages. Measuring just two, three centimeters in width, these miniature sea warriors use their anemone allies for defense, showcasing an extraordinary example of mutualism in the marine world. The boxer crab's life is a fascinating display of oceanic symbiosis. They are omnivores, feeding on small fish, plankton, and detritus, and play a significant role as coral reefs decorators, contributing to the biodiversity of their underwater realm. With a lifespan of approximately two to three years, these crabs highlight the intricate relationships and delicate balances within coral reef ecosystems, reminding us of the wonders and vulnerabilities of oceanic life. Soaring into number four, the majestic harpy eagle. Dominating the skies of the Amazon rainforest, the harpy eagle is a majestic and powerful bird, often described as the Sky King of the Amazon. With a massive wingspan of up to two meters and talons as large as a bear's claws, these feathered apex predators are unparalleled in their hunting prowess. They are the winged guardians of the forest, preying on tree-dwelling mammals like sloths and monkeys and playing a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance. The harpy eagle, with its regal and commanding presence, faces significant challenges due to deforestation and habitat destruction in the Amazon. As the avian forest monarch, its survival is integral to the health of the rainforest ecosystem. Conservation efforts are vital to protect these magnificent birds, ensuring the continuity of their reign as nature's fierce hunters and guardians of one of the planet's most vital ecological regions. At number three, the long-wattled umbrella bird. Residing in the humid forests of western Colombia and Ecuador is a remarkable avian species known for its distinctive wattle and deep calls. As the forest's feathered pendulum, the male's wattle, which can extend up to 35 cmium, is a spectacular sight during courtship displays. These birds, among the largest in their habitat, gather in leks to attract females with their resonant vocalizations and striking appearance. Referred to as the jungle's elegant gentleman, the long wattled umbrella bird plays a significant role in seed dispersal, contributing to the health of their rainforest home. However, they are considered vulnerable due to habitat loss, emphasizing the importance of preserving their environment. As orchestrators of the rainforest, their unique characteristics and ecological role make them a crucial species for biodiversity conservation. Climbing to number two, the South American Ambonia spinosa, a type of tree hopper, is a master of mimicry in the natural world. Known as botanical mimics, these insects, with their thorn-like protrusions, blend seamlessly into their surroundings surroundings appearing as thorns with legs. Measuring one to two centimeters, they are a remarkable example of nature's tiny imposters, thriving in the tropical and subtropical regions of South America. Their life cycle, intricately tied to the sap of their host plants, showcases the complex interdependencies in ecosystems. As insect world's illusionists, Umbonia spinosa plays a crucial role in their habitats, subtly influencing the ecological dynamics. Their presence serves as a reminder of the delicate balance in nature's diverse tapestry and the importance of protecting such unique species. At the top of our list, at number one, the Nembrotha cristata. In the underwater realm of the Indo-Pacific, the Nembrotha cristata, a strikingly colored sea slug, glides gracefully as an underwater rainbow. Known as the ocean's living jewels, these nudibranchs, measuring 20 to 50 millimeters, display a kaleidoscope of colors, captivating the eyes of diverse and marine biologists alike. Their slow, gentle movement belies their importance in marine ecosystems, where they play a role as coral gardens custodians. 
Feeding on specific sponges and bryozoans, the Nembrotha cristata embodies the essence of marine kaleidoscopes, showcasing the diversity and beauty of life beneath the waves. Their presence in coral reef environments highlights the need for marine conservation, ensuring that these delicate ecosystems continue to thrive and support a myriad of species like the gentle wanderers of the ocean, the Nembrotha cristata. Welcome to the top 10 most mind-blowing animals on the planet. Today, we're going to embark on an extraordinary journey into the animal kingdom, where nature's creativity and innovation shine like never before. Kicking off our top 10 countdown at number 10 is the enigmatic Xenoturbella churro. Discovered in the deep sea off the coast of California, these mysterious marine worms challenge our understanding of life's complexity with their simplicity. Discovered in the deep, mysterious waters off the coast of California in 2016, Xenoturbella churro is a biological enigma. These marine worms challenge our understanding of the animal kingdom due to their remarkable simplicity. Unlike most animals, Xenoturbella churro lacks a true gut, respiratory system, and many other complex features. With no specialized organs or systems, they appear as living fossils, hinting at an ancient lineage that predates the evolution of more sophisticated body plans. Researchers continue to study these mysterious worms to understand how they have survived and thrived in such a primitive form in a world dominated by complex, highly specialized life forms. The discovery of Xenotobella churro emphasizes the vast, unexplored depths of our oceans and the potential for discovering entirely new branches on the tree of life. But that's just the beginning. Join us as we unveil more astounding creatures that showcase the wonders of evolution. At number nine, we have the captivating Japanese dancing squid, which treats us to an entrancing light show deep below the ocean's surface. Bioluminescent spectacle remains a mystery waiting to be unraveled. Hidden beneath the waves of the Pacific Ocean, the Japanese dancing squid unfolds a mesmerizing natural spectacle that has left marine biologists captivated. These deep sea cephalopods exhibit a rare phenomenon called ikijime, where their skin undergoes an entrancing light show upon capture. The squid's chromatophores, specialized pigment cells, respond to stimuli by creating intricate patterns of color, producing a dance of lights across their body. While this spectacle occurs after their capture, it remains a mystery why these creatures have evolved such a response. Their behavior, though mysterious, serves as a reminder of the profound complexities of marine life and the mysteries that still shroud the depths of our oceans. Now, let's dive into number eight, where legends of the sea come to life. At number eight, meet the narwhal, the unicorn of the sea. These remarkable marine mammals roam the Arctic waters, their long, spiral tusks adding an air of mystique to the icy realms they call home. Narwhals, the unicorns of the sea, inhabit the Arctic waters of the North Atlantic and are known for their long, spiral tusks that can reach lengths of up to 10 feet. These distinctive tusks are actually elongated teeth that can be used for various purposes, including communication, breaking through ice, and hunting. The narwhal's preference for extreme cold and remote habitats has made them challenging to study. Recent research has shed light on their deep diving abilities, where they can plunge to remarkable depths in search of prey. Narwhals serve as an example of the incredible adaptations that marine mammals have developed to thrive in the harshest environments on Earth, and they continue to fascinate scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. And that's just the start of our incredible countdown. Stay with us for more jaw-dropping animals. Our number seven pick is the Eye Eye, a creature that defies expectations. Found in the forests of Madagascar, it uses echolocation to find grubs in trees with its uniquely elongated middle finger. In the dense forests of Madagascar, the Eye Eye is a creature that defies conventional expectations. This unusual primate has a long, bony middle finger that it uses to tap on trees, locating grubs within. It then employs its slender digit to extract the grubs, making it one of the few species to use echolocation as a hunting strategy. The Eye Eye's unique appearance and behavior have led to its classification as one of the world's strangest primates. Recent research into the Eye Eye's ecological role has highlighted its significance in maintaining forest health by aiding in seed dispersal. This captivating creature continues to be a subject of study and conservation efforts 
underlining the importance of preserving Madagascar's unique and endangered ecosystems. Let's move on to number six, where mysteries of the deep sea are revealed. Number six introduces us to the Yeti crab, a crustacean discovered in the frigid abyss of the Southern Ocean. Its hairy appearance hosts a community of bacteria and challenges our understanding of life in extreme environments. Deep within the frigid depths of the Southern Ocean, the Yeti crab, formerly known as Kiwa Hirsuta, was first discovered in 2005 during a scientific expedition. This crustacean's most remarkable feature is its extraordinary hairy appearance with filamentous structures covering its pincers and legs. These hairs are not just for looks. They host a unique community of bacteria that help the crab break down the chemical compounds released by hydrothermal vents. The Yeti crab is one of the few species known to thrive in such extreme deep sea environments, showcasing nature's adaptability in the face of harsh conditions. This discovery exemplifies the wealth of unknown species that remain hidden in the unexplored regions of our oceans and deep sea hydrothermal vent ecosystems. Hold on to your seats because we're about to unveil number five. At number five, meet the blobfish, a creature known for its unique appearance. This gelatinous fish survives the extreme pressures of the deep sea and has become a symbol of the mysteries that lurk in the ocean's depths. In the abyssal depths of the ocean, the blobfish resides, a creature that has captured the public's imagination for its unique appearance. Adapted to the extreme pressure of the deep sea, the blobfish's gelatinous, saggy appearance is a consequence of the contrast between its deep sea habitat and surface pressure. At these great depths, the blobfish remains buoyant and retains its shape, a crucial adaptation that allows it to survive in its extreme environment. While often dubbed the world's ugliest animal, the blobfish offers a fascinating glimpse into the strange and wonderful creatures that inhabit the Earth's least explored ecosystems, reminding us that the definition of beauty can vary significantly among species and environments. Now, get ready for an expedition to number four, where high altitude wonders await. Number four takes us to the alpine meadows of Asia and North America, home to the pika. These small mammals have adapted to extreme cold and play a a vital role in maintaining their high altitude ecosystems. Among the high mountain regions of Asia and North America, the pika, a small herbivorous mammal, thrives in alpine meadows and rocky habitats. Although pikas have been known for some time, recent research has illuminated their unique adaptations to extreme cold. They do not hibernate during the winter, instead foraging during the summer and drying plants to create hay piles that serve as their winter food source. These small mammals also exhibit fascinating vocal behaviors using high-pitched calls to communicate with each other in their rocky territories. The pika's resilience in harsh alpine environments and its vital role in maintaining these ecosystems highlight the importance of understanding and conserving these high-altitude habitats. Our countdown is heating up. We're headed to the top three. At number three, we introduce the star-nosed mole, a subterranean marvel. With its unique star-shaped snout, it uses sensitive appendages for navigating underground tunnels and hunting prey in the dark. The star-nosed mole, a small subterranean mammal found in the wetlands and marshes of North America, boasts a most unusual feature, a star-shaped set of fleshy appendages on its snout. These 22 pink, fleshy projections are incredibly sensitive to touch and are used to navigate through their dark underground tunnels while hunting for prey, such as worms and insects. The star-nosed mole's remarkable adaptation to its subterranean lifestyle and its incredible speed in foraging are a testament to the astonishing diversity of adaptations that have evolved in the animal kingdom. Recent research into its sensory capabilities has further illuminated the complexity of this unique mammal's behavior and its role in its wetland ecosystems. Our countdown is nearly complete and we're inching closer to the most astonishing animal. At number two, we delve into the forests of Southeast Asia to meet the Saola, often called the Asian Unicorn. This remarkable bovine species, with its striking horns and ethereal appearance, continues to astound researchers and conservationists alike. Hidden deep within the dense forests of Southeast Asia, the Saola, also known as the Asian Unicorn, remains one of the most elusive and recently discovered large mammals. This captivating bovine species was first documented by scientists in 1992, marking the first large mammal discovery 
in over 50 years. The Sayola's striking appearance, with long, pointed horns and striking white facial markings, has earned it its mythical nickname. Its remarkable discovery highlights the importance of biodiversity conservation in remote and threatened habitats, as the Saola faces significant challenges from habitat loss and poaching. The ongoing efforts to protect this species underscore the vital role of wildlife preservation in safeguarding Earth's most unique and enigmatic creatures. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the most incredible animal of them all. Claiming the top spot in our countdown is the pygmy seahorse, a minuscule gem of the coral reefs in the Indo-Pacific region. These tiny seahorses, with their extraordinary camouflage and monogamous behavior, epitomize the breathtaking diversity of life beneath the waves. The pygmy seahorse, a minuscule gem of the ocean, can be found in the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific region. First described in the 1960s, these seahorses remained hidden in plain sight for many years due to their extraordinary camouflage. Their bodies are adorned with tiny protuberances that mimic the texture of the corals they inhabit, making them nearly invisible to the naked eye. What truly sets the pygmy seahorse horse apart is its remarkable size, with some individuals measuring only a centimeter in length. These seahorses also exhibit monogamous behavior, forming lifelong bonds with their chosen mate. The pygmy seahorse's exceptional adaptation to its environment, as well as its cryptic nature, is a testament to the astonishing biodiversity of coral reefs and the mysteries that continue to be unraveled beneath the waves. These fascinating creatures, whether recently discovered or gaining deeper scientific understanding, continue to expand our knowledge of the natural world. They challenge our perceptions of the extraordinary diversity of life on Earth and emphasize the importance of conservation and research efforts to protect and study these remarkable species. Welcome, nature enthusiasts, to a journey like no other. Today, we embark on a countdown of the top 10 most extraordinary creatures that grace our planet, a celebration of the remarkable diversity and marvels that nature has to offer. Join us as we unveil these hidden gems, each a testament to the wonders of evolution and the delicate balance of life on Earth. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the mystical dragonhead caterpillar, the larval stage of the spicebush swallowtail butterfly, Papilio troilus. These caterpillars, with their snake-like false eyes and osmeterium, an orange forked organ, create a mystical aura in the world of metamorphosis. Their small size, typically a few centimeters in length, belies the transformative journey they undertake as they feed on the leaves of plants, primarily spicebush. Witness the delicate metamorphosis that unfolds as these caterpillars undergo a miraculous transformation, eventually emerging as stunning butterflies with distinctive black and blue markings. The dragonhead caterpillar's osmeterium serves as a unique defense mechanism, emitting a foul odor to deter potential predators. As part of the Papilionidae family, these caterpillars contribute to the intricate ballet of life exemplifying the cyclical nature of metamorphosis within the diverse ecosystems they inhabit. Journey into the foliage where these caterpillars undergo their remarkable transformation and witness the unfolding drama that symbolizes the perpetual cycle of life, a testament to the interconnectedness and resilience of Earth's diverse and enchanting creatures. Moving on to number nine, we find ourselves in the enchanting landscapes of Southeast Asia, home to the master of mimicry and stealth that seamlessly blends into the vibrant orchid blooms of its habitat. Scientifically known as Hymenopus coronatus, this enchanting mantis exhibits remarkable adaptations that elevate it to the realm of living art. With the ability to change colors to match specific orchid species, the orchid mantis becomes a living canvas, embodying the artistry of evolution in Southeast Asia's lush ecosystems. Females, larger at up to six than men, patiently await unsuspecting prey, showcasing a predatory prowess that harmonizes with the vibrant flora of their tropical homes. In the intricate dance of survival, these mantises not only showcase their remarkable camouflage, but also demonstrate the patience required for successful hunting. Raptorial forelegs poised for swift prey capture, 
these masters of mimicry navigate the dense foliage with precision. Their role in the delicate balance of Southeast Asian ecosystems becomes evident as they embody the interconnectedness between predator and prey, revealing the hidden wonders that thrive within the vibrant tapestry of the region's diverse habitats. At number eight, we ascend into the verdant canopies of Central and South America to encounter the ethereal glass frog. Ascend into the verdant canopies of Central and South America and encounter the ethereal glass frog, a creature that transcends transparency to redefine the boundaries of camouflage. These arboreal wonders, belonging to the Centralinidae family, exhibit translucent skin that allows observers to witness the intricate dance of internal organs, including the heart and digestive system. Sized between one to three inches, these frogs serve as guardians of rainforest health, with their sensitivity to environmental shifts making them vital indicators of ecosystem balance. Beyond their visual transparency, glass frogs showcase fascinating reproductive behaviors. Male glass frogs guard and protect their delicate eggs, situated on leaves above streams until they hatch. Their call, resembling a metallic tinkling sound, echoes through the lush canopies, creating a symphony that mirrors the health of the rainforest ecosystem. As we traverse the elevated realms where these amphibians dwell, the glass frog becomes a beacon of the interconnectedness between the vibrancy of life and the delicate balance of the tropical rainforest. Submerging into the enchanting world beneath the waves, our countdown brings us to the seventh spot, the Nudibranch, a soft-bodied marine marvel that graces oceans worldwide with its vibrant colors and intricate patterns. Nudibranchs, belonging to the gastropod mollusk family, showcase a dazzling array of hues, serving not only as visual spectacles, but also as warnings of their toxic or distasteful nature to potential predators. Ranging in size from a few centimeters, these underwater gems play a crucial role in marine ecosystems, contributing to the health and balance of coral reefs and other underwater environments. The nudibranch's unique feeding strategy, known as radular grazing, involves using a specialized feeding structure to scrape algae and other organisms from surfaces. Their hermaphroditic nature, possessing both male and female reproductive organs, adds another layer of complexity to their biology. As we navigate the intricate coral landscapes where nudibranchs flourish, we witness the delicate dance of survival, adaptation, and the vibrant collars that etch the hilth of the underwater realm. Lunging into the ocean depths, we encounter the Turritopsis nutricula, better known as the immortal jellyfish, at number six. This jellyfish, found in warm ocean waters worldwide, challenges the conventional life cycle by displaying a unique ability to revert its cells to their earliest form through a process called transdifferentiation. Despite its unassuming size, typically ranging from a few millimeters to one centimeter, this small jellyfish has garnered attention for its potential implications in the field of regenerative medicine. The immortal jellyfish's capacity for reverting cells has sparked scientific curiosity, offering insights into the mysteries of aging and cellular regeneration. However, the species also poses challenges as it can become invasive in certain regions, rapidly reproducing and disrupting local marine ecosystems. Delve into the cryptic depths where this extraordinary jellyfish resides and explore the intricate dance of life, death and regeneration that unfolds beneath the ocean's surface. Soaring into the tropical landscapes of the Philippines, our countdown brings us to the fifth spot, the giant, golden-crowned flying fox. A colossal bat species that graces the skies with its impressive wingspan, often exceeding five feet. Despite their formidable size, these fruit bats are primarily frugivores, playing a crucial ecological role in pollination and seed dispersal. The golden brown fur on their heads and necks, contrasting with their dark bodies, lends them an enchanting and regal appearance. 
Sadly, these majestic creatures are listed as near-threatened due to habitat loss and hunting. Found in the dense rainforests of the Philippines, the giant golden-crowned flying fox embodies the delicate balance of tropical ecosystems. Their longevity, often spanning over a decade, underscores the significance of these bats as stewards of biodiversity. As we navigate the intricate canopies where they dwell, we witness the vital connections between these giants of the night and the flourishing life below, emphasizing the fragility of their existence in the face of human activities. As night falls over the Americas, our journey takes us to the mysterious vampire bat at number four. As night descends over the Americas, enter the mysterious realm of the vampire bat, a creature that has fueled both fascination and fear throughout human history. There are three species of vampire bats, the common vampire bat, Desmodus rotundus, the hairy-legged vampire bat, Diphila echaudata, and the white-winged vampire bat, Diaemus youngi. Contrary to popular belief, these bats don't suck blood. Instead, they make small incisions in their prey and lap up the flowing blood with their specialized tongues. Common vampire bats with a wingspan of around seven inches are particularly adept at this unique feeding behavior. Beyond their dietary habits, vampire bats exhibit social behaviors that challenge traditional perceptions. These bats engage in blood-sharing rituals, fostering a sense of community within their colonies. The specialized heat sensors on their noses enable them to locate blood vessels beneath the skin of their prey, showcasing a remarkable adaptation to a blood-based diet. Submerging into the ancient waters of North America, the alligator gar claims the third spot in our countdown, an aquatic relic that defies the tests of time. This species, scientifically known as a Tractostia spatula, epitomizes the concept of living fossil, showcasing a prehistoric lineage that extends back millions of years. With a distinctive alligator-like appearance, including a long snout and sharp teeth, alligator gars are among the largest freshwater fish in North America, capable of exceeding eight feet in length. These formidable hunters have adapted to slow-moving waters such as lakes, bayous, and rivers, where their distinct morphology aids in ambushing prey. Despite their fearsome appearance, alligator gars are not a threat to humans, and their ecological significance extends beyond their impressive size. These living fossils play a vital role in maintaining aquatic ecosystems, regulating fish populations, and contributing to the delicate balance of North American waterways. Venturing into the lush landscapes of Australia and New Guinea, we encounter the captivating echidna at number two. The lush landscapes of Australia and New Guinea, where the echidna, a remarkable monotrem, invites exploration into the fascinating world of egg-laying mammals. There are two species of echidna, the short-beaked and long-beaked echidnas, each with its unique characteristics. The short-beaked echidna, larger and more widely distributed, can reach lengths of up to 45 millimeters. Echidnas are well adapted to their insectivorous lifestyle. Equipped with a long, sticky tongue for capturing ants, termites, and other small invertebrates. As expert diggers, these creatures use their strong claws to unearth their prey, demonstrating a level of adaptation that has persisted through millions of years. The echidna's reproductive strategy is equally distinctive. Unlike most mammals, echidnas lay eggs, and the female places the eggs directly into a pouch for incubation. This method allows for a unique form of reproductive protection, showcasing the evolutionary marvels that have allowed monotremes to thrive. As ambassadors of Australia's diverse ecosystems, Echidnas embody the evolutionary ingenuity that has shaped life on the continent for millennia. And now, dear viewers, as we stand on the precipice of our countdown, the number one creature awaits, ready to unveil its secrets. Join us in the next installment as we reveal the most extraordinary, the most captivating, the pinnacle of nature's creations.
Until then, keep exploring, keep marveling, and stay tuned for the grand finale of our Top 10 Countdown. Embark on a journey into the heart of Australia, where the peacock spider, scientifically classified under the Salticidae family, unveils its mesmerizing world. Despite its diminutive size of approximately 5 meter, this tiny arachnid is a master of agility and vibrant displays. The male, with its intricate courtship dances, showcases not only a kaleidoscope of colors on its abdomen, but also an astonishing level of coordination. Found exclusively in Australia, these spiders are known for their unique hunting techniques, relying on their keen eyesight and powerful jumping abilities to capture prey. The family Saltishidae, which includes the peacock spiders, is recognized for its agile members and intricate courtship rituals, making these tiny dancers a fascinating blend of artistry and evolutionary prowess. Additionally, the diversity within the peacock spider species extends beyond their visual displays. Each species possesses distinct color patterns and courtship rituals, contributing to the rich tapestry of Australia's arachnid biodiversity. Despite their small stature, these spiders play a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance by controlling populations of smaller arthropods highlighting the interconnectedness of even the tiniest organisms in our vast ecosystem. Welcome, nature enthusiasts, to a journey like no other. Today, we embark on a countdown of the top 10 most extraordinary creatures that grace our planet, a celebration of the remarkable diversity and marvels that nature has to offer. Join us as we unveil these hidden gems, each a testament to the wonders of evolution and the delicate balance of life on Earth. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the mystical dragonhead caterpillar, the larval stage of the spice bush swallowtail butterfly, Papilio troilus. These caterpillars, with their snake-like false eyes and osmeterium, an orange forked organ, create a mystical aura in the world of metamorphosis. Their small size, typically a few centimeters in length, belies the transformative journey they undertake as they feed on the leaves of plants, primarily spice bush. Witness the delicate metamorphosis that unfolds as these caterpillars undergo a miraculous transformation, eventually emerging as stunning butterflies with distinctive black and blue markings. The dragon head caterpillars, Osmeterium, serves as a unique defense mechanism emitting a foul odor to deter potential predators. As part of the Papilionidae family, these caterpillars contribute to the intricate ballet of life, exemplifying the cyclical nature of metamorphosis within the diverse ecosystems they inhabit. Journey into the foliage where these caterpillars undergo their remarkable transformation and witness the unfolding drama that symbolizes the perpetual cycle of life, a testament to the interconnectedness and resilience of Earth's diverse and enchanting creatures. Moving on to number nine, we find ourselves in the enchanting landscapes of Southeast Asia, home to the master of mimicry and stealth that seamlessly blends into the vibrant orchid blooms of its habitat. Scientifically known as Hymenopus coronatus, this enchanting mantis exhibits remarkable adaptations that elevate it to the realm of living art. With the ability to change colors to match specific orchid species, the orchid mantis becomes a living canvas, embodying the artistry of evolution in Southeast Asia's lush ecosystems. Females, larger at up to six than men, patiently await unsuspecting prey, showcasing a predatory prowess that harmonizes with the vibrant flora of their tropical homes. In the intricate dance of survival, these mantises not only showcase their remarkable camouflage, but also demonstrate the patience required for successful hunting. Raptorial forelegs poised for swift prey capture, these masters of mimicry navigate the dense foliage with precision. Their role in the delicate balance of Southeast Asian ecosystems becomes evident as they embody the interconnectedness between predator and prey, revealing the hidden wonders that thrive within the vibrant tapestry of the region's diverse habitats. At number eight, we ascend into the verdant canopies of Central and South America to encounter the ethereal glass frog. Ascend into the verdant canopies of Central and South America 
and encounter the ethereal glass frog, a creature that transcends transparency to redefine the boundaries of camouflage. These arboreal wonders, belonging to the Central Anidae family, exhibit translucent skin that allows observers to witness the intricate dance of internal organs, including the heart and digestive system. Sized between one to three inches, these frogs serve as guardians of rainforest health, with their sensitivity to environmental shifts making them vital indicators of ecosystem balance. Beyond their visual transparency, glass frogs showcase fascinating reproductive behaviors. Male glass frogs guard and protect their delicate eggs, situated on leaves above streams until they hatch. Their call, resembling a metallic tinkling sound, echoes through the lush canopies, creating a symphony that mirrors the health of the rainforest ecosystem. As we traverse the elevated realms where these amphibians dwell, the glass frog becomes a beacon of the interconnectedness between the vibrancy of life and the delicate balance of the tropical rainforest. Submerging into the enchanting world beneath the waves, our countdown brings us to the seventh spot, the Nudibranch, a soft-bodied marine marvel that graces oceans worldwide with its vibrant colors and intricate patterns. Nudibranchs, belonging to the gastropod mollusk family, showcase a dazzling array of hues, serving not only as visual spectacles, but also as warnings of their toxic or distasteful nature to potential predators. Ranging in size from a few centimeters, these underwater gems play a crucial role in marine ecosystems, contributing to the health and balance of coral reefs and other underwater environments. The nudibranch's unique feeding strategy, known as radular grazing, involves using a specialized feeding structure to scrape algae and other organisms from surfaces. Their hermaphroditic nature, possessing both male and female reproductive organs, adds another layer of complexity to their biology. As we navigate the intricate coral landscapes where nudibranchs flourish, we witness the delicate dance of survival, adaptation, and the vibrant collars that etch the hilt of the underwater realm. Lunging into the ocean depths, we encounter the Turritopsis nutricula, better known as the immortal jellyfish, at number six. This jellyfish, found in warm ocean waters worldwide, challenges the conventional life cycle by displaying a unique ability to revert its cells to their earliest form through a process called transdifferentiation. Despite its unassuming size, typically ranging from a few millimeters to one centimeter, this small jellyfish has garnered attention for its potential implications in the field of regenerative medicine. The immortal jellyfish's capacity for reverting cells has sparked scientific curiosity, offering insights into the mysteries of aging and cellular regeneration. However, the species also poses challenges as it can become invasive in certain regions rapidly reproducing and disrupting local marine ecosystems. Delve into the cryptic depths where this extraordinary jellyfish resides and explore the intricate dance of life, death and regeneration that unfolds beneath the ocean's surface. Soaring into the tropical landscapes of the Philippines, our countdown brings us to the fifth spot, the giant, golden-crowned flying fox. A colossal bat species that graces the skies with its impressive wingspan, often exceeding five feet. Despite their formidable size, these fruit bats are primarily frugivores, playing a crucial ecological role in pollination and seed dispersal. The golden brown fur on their heads and necks, contrasting with their dark bodies, lends them an enchanting and regal appearance. Sadly, these majestic creatures are listed as near-threatened due to habitat loss and hunting. Found in the dense rainforests of the Philippines, the giant golden-crowned flying fox embodies the delicate balance of tropical ecosystems. Their longevity, often spanning over a decade, underscores the significance of these bats as stewards of biodiversity. As we navigate the intricate canopies where they dwell, we witness the vital connections between these giants of the night and the flourishing life below, emphasizing the fragility of their existence 
in the face of human activities. As night falls over the Americas, our journey takes us to the mysterious vampire bat at number four. As night descends over the Americas, enter the mysterious realm of the vampire bat, a creature that has fueled both fascination and fear throughout human history. There are three species of vampire bats, the common vampire bat, Desmodus rotundus, the hairy-legged vampire bat, Diphila echaudata, and the white-winged vampire bat, Diaemus youngi. Contrary to popular belief, these bats don't suck blood. Instead, they make small incisions in their prey and lap up the flowing blood with their specialized tongues. Common vampire bats with a wingspan of around seven inches are particularly adept at this unique feeding behavior. Beyond their dietary habits, vampire bats exhibit social behaviors that challenge traditional perceptions. These bats engage in blood-sharing rituals, fostering a sense of community within their colonies. The specialized heat sensors on their noses enable them to locate blood vessels beneath the skin of their prey, showcasing a remarkable adaptation to a blood-based diet. Submerging into the ancient waters of North America, the alligator gar claims the third spot in our countdown, an aquatic relic that defies the tests of time. This species, scientifically known as a Tractostia spatula, epitomizes the concept of living fossil, showcasing a prehistoric lineage that extends back millions of years. With a distinctive alligator-like appearance, including a long snout and sharp teeth, alligator gars are among the largest freshwater fish in North America, capable of exceeding eight feet in length. These formidable hunters have adapted to slow-moving waters such as lakes, bayous, and rivers, where their distinct morphology aids in ambushing prey. Despite their fearsome appearance, alligator gars are not a threat to humans, and their ecological significance extends beyond their impressive size. These living fossils play a vital role in maintaining aquatic ecosystems, regulating fish populations, and contributing to the delicate balance of North American waterways. Venturing into the lush landscapes of Australia and New Guinea, we encounter the captivating echidna at number two. The lush landscapes of Australia and New Guinea, where the echidna, a remarkable monotrem, invites exploration into the fascinating world of egg-laying mammals. There are two species of echidna, the short-beaked and long-beaked echidnas, each with its unique characteristics. The short-beaked echidna, larger and more widely distributed, can reach lengths of up to 45 mesimmetres. Echidnas are well adapted to their insectivorous lifestyle, equipped with a long, sticky tongue for capturing ants, termites, and other small invertebrates. As expert diggers, these creatures use their strong claws to unearth their prey, demonstrating a level of adaptation that has persisted through millions of years. The echidna's reproductive strategy is equally distinctive. Unlike most mammals, echidnas lay eggs, and the female places the eggs directly into a pouch for incubation. This method allows for a unique form of reproductive protection, showcasing the evolutionary marvels that have allowed monotremes to thrive. As ambassadors of Australia's diverse ecosystems, Echidnas embody the evolutionary ingenuity that has shaped life on the continent for millennia. And now, dear viewers, as we stand on the precipice of our countdown, the number one creature awaits, ready to unveil its secrets. Join us in the next installment as we reveal the most extraordinary, the most captivating, the pinnacle of nature's creations. Until then, keep exploring, keep marveling, and stay tuned for the grand finale of our Top 10 Countdown. Embark on a journey into the heart of Australia, where the peacock spider, scientifically classified under the Salticidae family, unveils its mesmerizing world. Despite its diminutive size of approximately 5 meter, this tiny arachnid is a master of agility and vibrant displays. The male, with its intricate courtship dances, showcases not only a kaleidoscope of colors on its abdomen, but also an astonishing level of coordination. Found exclusively in Australia, 
these spiders are known for their unique hunting techniques, relying on their keen eyesight and powerful jumping abilities to capture prey. The family Saltishidae, which includes the peacock spiders, is recognized for its agile members and intricate courtship rituals, making these tiny dancers a fascinating blend of artistry and evolutionary prowess. Additionally, the diversity within the peacock spider species extends beyond their visual displays. Each species possesses distinct color patterns and courtship rituals, contributing to the rich tapestry of Australia's arachnid biodiversity. Despite their small stature, these spiders play a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance by controlling populations of smaller arthropods, highlighting the interconnectedness of even the tiniest organisms in our vast. Today, we embark on a captivating countdown, unveiling the remarkable creatures that not only grace our planet today, but also offer glimpses into the prehistoric past when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Join us as we delve into the worlds of these living wonders, each with a connection to the ancient reign of reptiles. At number 11, we encounter the intelligent wood lizard, a modern marvel nestled in the cloud forests of Ecuador and Peru. As if painted by nature's brush, this reptile not only mesmerizes with vibrant hues, but also hints at a time when intricate social structures thrived amidst ancient fern-filled landscapes. In the ancient landscapes of Ecuador and Peru, the intelligent wood lizard, a modern marvel within the genus Enyalioides, beckons us to a time when dinosaurs ruled the earth. With its vibrant hues and intricate social structures, this creature echoes the adaptive brilliance seen in some of the Mesozoic reptiles. The cloud-kissed forests, reminiscent of ancient fern-filled ecosystems, become a stage for the intelligent wood lizard to exhibit a glimpse of the harmonious interplay between nature's artistry and evolutionary strategies. Recent genetic studies reveal the wood lizard's genetic diversity, providing a contemporary understanding of how these reptiles have adapted over time, shedding light on their role in the evolutionary tapestry. Number 10 brings us face to face with armored wonders, the armadillos. Roaming the Americas, these creatures echo the defensive behaviors of their ancient kin. Roll into the past as we explore how the resilient spirit of these armored giants transcends the ages. In the mosaic of the Americas, armadillos, with their protective armor and fossil relatives dating back to the Paleocene, offer a living link to the world of ancient reptiles. The concept of rolling into a ball for protection mirrors the defensive behaviors seen in some dinosaur species. Whether roaming grasslands or forests, armadillos channel the resilient spirit of ancient armadillos armored giants, embodying a chapter of evolutionary history that transcends the ages. Advances in paleontological techniques allow scientists to reconstruct the armored plates and skeletons of extinct armadillo relatives, providing a deeper understanding of the evolutionary paths these creatures have traversed. Venturing into the lush rainforests of New Guinea at number 9, the red-eyed crocodile skink captivates with its red-studded scales and arboreal lifestyle. Discover the mysteries of primeval canopies and witness a reptile that walks paths, once ruled by ancient kin. Within the lush rainforests of New Guinea, the red-eyed crocodile skink carries a semblance of prehistoric enchantment. The red-studded scales and arboreal lifestyle evoke imagery of small, ancient reptiles navigating primeval canopies. The mysteries of these rainforests echo the lush habitats that once harbored dinosaurs. As we explore the secrets of Tribulonotus gracilis, we catch glimpses of a world where modern reptiles tread paths once ruled by their ancient kin. Ongoing ecological studies shed light on the symbiotic relationships between the skink and its environment, offering insights into the intricate balance that has persisted through epochs. At number 8, we dive into the freshwater realms of Indonesia, encountering the snakehead turtle. Its distinctive shell, resembling a snake's head, invites us to ponder under the connections between ancient reptilian worlds and the urgent need for conservation in our modern era. In the freshwater realms of Indonesia, the snakehead turtle emerges as a testament to the diversity of reptiles that once shared aquatic ecosystems with dinosaurs. Its distinctive shell, resembling a snake's head, harks back to the intricate mosaic of Mesozoic turtle species. With courtship rituals and a critically endangered status, the snakehead turtle invites us to ponder the 
fragile connections between ancient reptilian world in the face of modern challenges. Recent genetic studies have unveiled the phylogenetic relationships of this turtle, unraveling its place in the broader context of turtle evolution. Number seven takes us along the riverbanks of India and Nepal, where the gharial emerges, a living reflection of Mesozoic aquatic predators. Dive into the Ganges River and witness the continuance of ancient legacies where colossal aquatic reptiles once navigated similar waters. Along the riverbanks of India and Nepal, the gharial, with its elongated snout and interlocking teeth, presents a living reflection of the Mesozoic era's aquatic predators. The Ganges River becomes a stage where this modern crocodilian guardian echoes the roles played by ancient reptiles in shaping riparian ecosystems. As we delve into the world of Garials, we glimpse the echoes of a time when colossal aquatic reptiles navigated similar waters, marking the continuance of ancient legacies. Ongoing conservation efforts involve satellite tracking, providing crucial crucial data on the migration patterns and behavior of these majestic creatures connecting modern science with ancient echoes. Across savannas and forests, the pangolin claims the number six spot, adorned with protective scales and insectivorous habits. Unveil the armor-like coverings reminiscent of ancient reptiles and join us in preserving these living representatives of ancient lineages. Across the savannas and forests of Africa and Asia, the pangolin, with its protective scales and insectivorous habits, unveils a narrative reminiscent of the dinosaurian past. The keratin scales that shield pangolins reflect the armor-like coverings seen in some ancient reptiles. Their unique locomotion and secretive nocturnal lifestyle provide a contemporary window into the behaviors that once defined prehistoric landscapes. Recent studies on pangolin genetics and behavior shed light on their evolutionary history emphasizing the importance of preserving these unique creatures as living representatives of ancient lineages. Number five invites us to the Indonesian islands, where the Komodo dragon reigns as the largest living lizard. With venomous saliva and opportunistic feeding habits, this creature channels the essence of ancient apex predators, showcasing the resilience of large-bodied reptiles in diverse ecosystems. In the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gilimotang, the Komodo dragon stands as a living testament to the grandeur of the reptilian past. As the largest living lizard, with venomous saliva and opportunistic feeding habits, the Komodo dragon channels the essence of ancient apex predators. The islands become an evolutionary stage, where the echoes of Mesozoic carnivores reverberate through the ages, showcasing the resilience of large-bodied reptiles in diverse ecosystems. Ongoing genetic studies explore the Komodo dragon's evolutionary relationships, unraveling the genetic adaptations that have allowed them to thrive in their unique island habitats. Diving into the aquatic landscapes of Mexican lakes at number four, the axolotl challenges the norms of amphibian metamorphosis. Retaining larval features and showcasing regenerative wonders, the axolotl becomes a contemporary link to the mosaic of aquatic life that once shared habitats with early dinosaurs. Within the aquatic landscapes of Mexican lakes and canals, the axolotl becomes a living relic that challenges the traditional narrative of amphibian metamorphosis. Retaining larval features and showcasing regenerative abilities, the axolotl echoes the adaptive strategies that might have played a role in the survival of ancient amphibians. Their neotenic nature provides a contemporary link to the mosaic of aquatic life that once shared habitats with early dinosaurs. Recent genomic studies shed light on the regenerative capacities encoded in axolotl DNA, offering insights into the evolutionary processes that have shaped these unique amphibians. Number three takes us to the arboreal realms of northern Australia and southern New Guinea, where the frilled dragon unfolds its distinctive frill and intricate courtship displays. Join us in exploring the evolutionary theater where theatrix and adaptability intertwine in this living relic of ancient reptiles. In the arboreal realms of northern Australia and southern New Guinea, the frilled dragon with its distinctive frill and intricate courtship displays, transports us to a time when flamboyant displays were essential for survival. 
the frill becomes a living testament to the extravagant features seen in some dinosaur species, emphasizing the roles of visual communication in ancient ecosystems. As it navigates the treetops, the frilled dragon offers a glimpse into the evolutionary theater where theatrics and adaptability intertwine. Ongoing behavioral studies delve into the ecological significance of frill displays, unraveling the nuances of communication in modern reptiles. Across the arid expanse of Australia, the horny devil claims the number two spot. With thorny spikes and desert-toned camouflage, this creature embodies adaptability in the face of harsh environmental conditions. Explore the secrets of arid ecosystems and witness the resilient spirit that defines reptilian survival. Across the arid expanse of Australia, the horny devil, with its thorny spikes and desert-toned camouflage, takes us to an ancient landscape where adaptability was key to survival. The anteating habits and sedentary behavior mirror the resourceful strategies employed by small reptiles in the face of harsh environmental conditions. In the arid stretches, the horny devil stands as a living embodiment of the resilient spirit that once defined reptilian survival. Ongoing ecological studies explore the relationship between the horny devil and its arid environment, shedding light on the adaptations that have allowed them to thrive in challenging conditions. Finally, at number one, we journey to the vibrant landscapes of East Africa, encountering Jackson's three-horned chameleon. Adorned with three prominent horns and color-changing capabilities, this chameleon offers a contemporary glimpse into the ever-evolving dance between reptiles and their environments, an echo of the ageless legacy of adaptation. Amidst the vibrant landscapes of East Africa, Jackson's three-horned chameleon becomes a walking canvas that reflects the intricate adaptations seen in ancient reptiles. The three prominent horns and color-changing capabilities evoke images of dinosaurian displays and camouflage strategies. Navigating forests and grasslands, this chameleon offers a contemporary glimpse into the ever-evolving dance between reptiles and their environments, echoing the ageless legacy of adaptation. Ongoing genetic studies unravel the phylogenetic relationships of chameleons, shedding light on their place in the grand evolutionary narrative and the dynamic interplay between reptiles and their ecosystems. As we uncover the secrets encoded in their DNA, we unveil the threads connecting these modern wonders to the ancient reptilian tapestry, providing valuable insights into the persistence and resilience of life. Over countless millennia, join us on this exploration of living wonders with ties to the ancient reign of dinosaurs. Subscribe, hit that like button, and let the journey continue. Until next time, happy exploring. Our adventure begins in the mysterious depths of the ocean where ancient marvels roam. At number 10, the ghost shark, or Chimaera, emerges as an ancient marvel. With its striking greenish-blue eyes and a slender body, this enigmatic creature navigates the abyssal plains and continental slopes, reaching depths as profound as 8,500 feet. A true relic of evolutionary history, ghost sharks belonging to the subclass Holocephaly diverged from other cartilaginous fish around 400 million years ago, with approximately 50 known species, each displaying unique features including venomous spines and elongated snouts. These creatures face threats from deep sea fishing and habitat destruction, underscoring the importance of conservation efforts to preserve these living fossils. Ghost sharks have a relatively long lifespan, with some species living up to 30 years or more. Their slow growth contributes to their susceptibility to overfishing. At number 9, in the cold, dark depths of the abyssal plain, the sea pig gracefully roams, resembling a plump pig of the deep sea. This extraordinary deep sea cucumber, with its gelatinous barrel-shaped body and specialized tube feet, forms dense aggregations on the ocean floor, feeding on detritus that falls from the surface. Thriving at depths between 13,000 to 20,000 feet, the sea pig's abundance is intricately linked to the availability of organic material, showcasing the interconnected complexity of life in Earth's least explored environments. Sea pigs can be found in dense aggregations on the ocean floor. Their abundance 
is linked to the availability of organic material for feeding. Soaring into the arid landscapes of the Americas at number eight, the tarantula hawk emerges as a formidable winged hunter, known for its size and powerful sting. With a wingspan that can reach up to four inches, these large wasps boast striking colors, featuring a vibrant combination of black and orange or blue. Their predatory behavior is both mesmerizing and fearsome. Tarantula hawks seek out tarantulas, delivering one of the most painful insect stings to paralyze their prey. Despite their imposing presence, these wasps play a crucial role in natural pest control, keeping tarantula populations in check and maintaining a delicate ecological balance. Tarantula hawks have a relatively short lifespan, with adults living for several weeks. The larval stage, spent inside the paralyzed tarantula, lasts longer. Our countdown continues in the lush rainforests of Vietnam, where at number seven, the Vietnamese mossy frog, a master of camouflage and arboreal adaptation. With its mossy, lichen-like appearance, this small amphibian, reaching sizes of two to 2.5 inches, seamlessly blends into the forest vegetation. Equipped with adhesive toe pads for climbing, these nocturnal creatures navigate the trees with agility, feasting on small invertebrates. Despite their diminutive size, Vietnamese mossy frogs have made a significant impact beyond their native habitat, captivating enthusiasts in the pet trade. Their unique features and successful captive breeding efforts underscore the delicate balance between appreciation and conservation. They are adapted to an arboreal lifestyle. At number six, we venture into the deciduous forests of North America to encounter the hickory horned devil, one of the largest and most visually striking caterpillars. With a length that can reach up to six inches, this larval wonder boasts long spines and vibrant shades of green and blue, defying its harmless nature. Found in areas where hickory and walnut trees flourish, the hickory horned devil gracefully feeds on leaves during its daytime forays. Despite its fearsome appearance, this caterpillar relies on camouflage rather than aggression for defense, showcasing the intricate dance between adaptation and survival in the natural world. The hickory horned devil is one of the largest caterpillars in North America. It can reach lengths of up to six inches, scaling the rugged terrains of Central Asia. At number five is the majestic markhor. These wild goats with their corkscrew-shaped horns and powerful build inhabit steep and challenging terrains. Adult males, weighing between 110 to 240 klala, engage in epic horn clashes during the mating season, establishing dominance and leading their social groups. Markhors, well adapted to foraging in mountainous landscapes, graze on grasses, leaves and vegetation. Despite their captivating presence, these remarkable creatures face threats from habitat loss and poaching, prompting conservation efforts to safeguard their populations and preserve the essence of Central Asia's untamed beauty. Markhors are medium to large-sized wild goats. Adult males can weigh between 110 to 240 kilos, 240 to 530 lily bees, while females are smaller. Plunging into the abyssal depths at number four, behold the Dumbo octopus, gracefully drifting with ear-like fins and an otherworldly appearance. Little is known about these deep sea dwellers, adding an air of mystery to their elusive existence. Named after the iconic Disney character, these cephalopods possess ear-like fins and a distinctive umbrella-shaped body. Ranging in size, some species reach lengths of five feet, while others are more petite. Adapted to the extreme conditions of the deep sea, Dumbo octopuses use large, sensitive eyes to navigate the darkness and hover above the ocean floor with their unique fins. Little is known about their reproductive habits, adding an air of mystery to these elusive deep sea dwellers, underscoring the vast expanses of the ocean yet to be explored. Dumbo octopuses have a unique appearance with ear-like fins and an umbrella-shaped body. At number three, 
In the depths of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, the humpback anglerfish reigns as a master of deception and predation. With its bioluminescent lure dangling in the darkness, this fish lures unsuspecting prey close before capturing them with a swift strike. Despite their relatively small size, her reaching lengths of about six inches, humpback anglerfish exhibit adaptations that allow them to survive in the extreme pressure and cold temperatures of the deep sea. Their solitary and elusive nature, combined with extreme sexual dimorphism, makes them intriguing denizens of the abyss, highlighting the marvels of adaptation in the world's least explored ecosystems. Humpback anglerfish are known for their bioluminescent lure, which dangles in front of their mouth to attract prey. The lure emits light in the darkness of the deep sea environment. Gleading into our number two spot is the ribbon sea dragon, a marine wonder blending grace and camouflage in the coastal waters of Australia. In the coastal waters of Australia, the ribbon sea dragon glides through seagrass beds and rocky reefs, showcasing a mesmerizing blend of grace and camouflage. With their intricate, a ribbon-like appearance and leaf-like appendages, these sea dragons exemplify the art of blending seamlessly into their surroundings. Reaching lengths of 9 to 10 inches, these creatures, related to seahorses, exhibit a unique reproductive strategy where males carry developing eggs. Despite their gentle nature, ribbon sea dragons face threats from habitat degradation and the aquarium trade, emphasizing the delicate balance needed to protect these coastal wonders. Ribbon sea dragons are moraine fish, closely related to seahorses and sea dragons. Finally, we delve into the rich tapestry of Madagascar's rainforests for our number one contender. The giraffe weevil, with its elongated neck and vibrant coloration, it personifies the creativity of nature within this unique ecosystem. Amidst the tropical forests of Madagascar, the giraffe weevil stands as a testament to nature's creativity and evolutionary ingenuity. This small insect navigates the trees with grace and purpose. And despite its small size, the giraffe weevil possesses remarkable strength in its leg muscles, utilizing the elongated neck for both nest building and engaging in competitive battles for mates. Found in the rich tapestry of Madagascar's ecosystem, the giraffe weevil, with its vivid black body and orange-reddish legs, captures the essence of biodiversity and the interconnected dance of life within the island's vibrant rainforests. Giraffe weevils have an elongated neck that is used for nest building and competitive battles for mates. 